Random thought. Going on mm-hmm. a trip with someone that you're dating is the best way to know that you're compatible. Uh, maybe. Everybody that goes on a trip for the first time with somebody that they're dating is checking for clues and red flags to say, run. I I agree, but I'm wondering, is it, I know it'd be for me, it'd be the little things. I'm like, that's how you pack? <laughs> wait, 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 stop. It's not, not going to work out. What? <laughs> I'm just saying it'd be just the little things of how someone plans. Are they like last minute scramblers on everything? Um, oh, if you're on the flight, are they the ones that want to get to the airport two hours early? Or do they like to get there just before the door closes? It's just a lot of things you can learn about someone when they travel. And then when you go travel, are, are you with somebody that wants to like make a list of everything you're going to do minute to minute each day? <laughs> Or are they, can they be spontaneous and mm-hmm. we're going to go see this and then we're tomorrow, who knows what we're going to go do. We'll figure it out. You know, I think there's a lot you can learn about that person to see if you're compatible. I'm going to ask the question people want to know right now, because this is going to be interesting. So are you the two hours early or all right, I got pre-check. So well, let's skate by the skin of our teeth. Okay. <laughs> I have, <laughs> I have pre-check. Mm-hmm. So if I'm traveling with somebody, I like to get there a little early so that way they got plenty of time to go through security and then we can have a cocktail at the bar. So I kind of plan that out that, mm-hmm. okay, I'm going to get there. Then we're going to go sit here, have a couple beers, get on the plane, start the vacation. Okay. That makes, that makes sense. A little sense right there. Okay. But if you're traveling by yourself, you, you're like, Hey, hold the door. <laughs> well, I'm by myself. I'm last minute, but here's, what's really <laughs> funny about me. Um, because I know I have these weird things about myself, like the getting to the airport at a certain time and my system and process. Mm-hmm. If I know I'm around people who aren't that way, mm-hmm. I try to overcompensate. So when I was uh, working for Whole Foods, we had travel and sometimes, you know, the airport shuts down, you know, small airports or right. uh, everything's delayed. And you're like, I'm just in Houston. I'll drive. You know, let's just get run a car. I'm the type they'll say I'll drive because I'm sure someone would be, if I let someone else do it, they're going to put the cruise control at 70 and it's just going to annoy me and frustrate <laughs> me even more. So I'm like, Hey, I'll drive. And I did it one time from Lafayette, Louisiana to Austin. I was like, hey, I'll drive. No big deal because I just couldn't have the patience. So I try to overcompensate in those ways. Just like if I know someone takes a long time to get through security and they're going to carry a whole bunch of stuff for two days, mm-hmm. we're going to get there early so we can sit at the bar, have a cocktail. Hey, so if you have pre-check, and you're traveling with that person, and you book for both people, then guess what? They have pre check for that trip too. Do they? Yeah. I don't know. Guess I don't book enough trips. <laughs> <laughs> like, book your own flight. I'll meet yeah. you there. But meet I'll you, you the the at the <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but it's true, though, because, you know, it's funny. Uh, my wife didn't, she said this to me when we first, when we went on our first trip, like, jokingly like, ha, I get to see how you really are when we go on this trip. I'm like, okay, but I didn't think much about it. And then as we talked about it later on, she's like, oh yeah, no, I had to check out certain things. Like, you know, what's he like when he gets drunk? What's he like if you drink? Do you get like this? You know, how do you do act around the hotel staff? You know, there's so many things. So guys, Uh the five guys that are are watching the show, because we know this is an 85... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to 95 percent male audience <laughs> uh, be aware that if you go on if you go on that first trip with somebody you're dating they're scoping you out as much as you're checking them out they're scoping you out to checking out all the minor details because it, 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 it really matters it does and i think that's the that's the dice that you roll right to see if mm-hmm. this is going to work out because you hope it's going to be a great trip, but I have been there where as soon as the plane landed, I'm like, oh, shit, <laughs> this is going to be a long two days. Because, <laughs> you know, there's no escaping. When you you go spend a weekend, you can still escape because your car's there. You can, <laughs> yeah. when you go on a trip, especially when you go out of the country, there's no escaping. Now, yeah. do you have to fake an injury if she shows up in house slippers, a bonnet, and with a big ass pillow? <laughs> um, I can't imagine that would ever happen to me because <laughs> I do my due diligence, you know. So, if, if when when I was back in the day on Match and all the dating apps, if I was doing that, I'm gonna try to figure it, see if I can find what you look like. 
<laughs> your LinkedIn, your Facebook, Instagram, mugshots, something. <laughs> I'm gonna see what I can find as public record. Just, and I'm good at it. I am good at finding people. But if some, uh, I couldn't imagine. I can't answer that. If somebody should look like that, I got no answer. 